Hello, everybody out there in Facebook land. Barb here from barbstamps.com in Sheridan, Wyoming, coming to you live on this beautiful Thursday afternoon slash evening, I guess, depending where you are. Um, for me, it's 5 p.m. So it must be uh, 4 p.m. for those of you in the Pacific time zone, 6 uh, for those of you at Central time zone, and 7 for those of you in the Eastern time zone. So um, I'm back. I missed last week because I... I had some fantastic guests in my house, and so I, um, we were busy doing some fun stuff, so I couldn't go live. Uh, so hopefully uh, my projects tonight will be fun, I hope. Um, and yeah, so welcome everybody. If you wouldn't mind sharing the video for me, that would be awesome. And of course, if you like it, that's always awesome too. Um, gets that Facebook algorithm working, I think. I really don't know. I don't know much about that techie stuff, but it sounds like it might work. It sounds legit. So hello, Barbara and Kathy and Nina and Maureen and so many of you girls, Kristen, Carol, lovely to see you all. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I have a few little small prizes that I want to give away tonight while we're live. So I'm going to try to do one per card. It's so like when I'm doing a card, then I'm going to try to give away a prize. So what I'll do is I'll be working on a card and then I'll kind of do a quick scroll through the comments or whatever. And then I'll just give away. Like I said, they're not like fantastically amazing prizes, but they're little things that I found. I did a little cleaning and I came across a few little goodies. And so I thought, why not give them away? Right. Um, so yeah. What else do I need to tell you guys? Oh, you, as you probably all know, my Stampin' Besties were here for a week last week. They got here last Monday, and then they left on uh, just this past Monday, what, three days ago or whatever. So it was a very sad for them to go. Uh, we did have a ton of fun. We did do a lot of work. I mean, we all sat right here behind me at my kind of big stamp table. We all had our little space. And, uh, yeah, we, we did get a lot of things done. We got our new catalog kickoff, um, event planned. We had some executive meetings on my front porch, some with margaritas, some without, and we hammered out the details for our new catalog kickoff, which, um, the information for that is in the description of this video. Uh, we hammered out our, um, fall, well, summer slash fall retreat that's going to be in September. And yeah, it's just going to be a lot of fun. We got a lot of stuff done and we had a lot of fun. We drove up the mountain with my husband, uh, one day we went up kind of a dirt, it's like a dirt road. It's a County road, but it goes up the mountain, which is just about five miles from my house. And then it goes all the way across the mountain and comes out like on the other side anyway. So there was a, there was a place to eat and then we came down the highway and then we came back. So it was a really nice drive. We saw some really pretty scenery. We saw a ton of moose, uh, which is not uncommon in Wyoming, at least where I live. Um, there are uh, plenty of moose around and they did not disappoint. They were all bulls, which I was really surprised. Normally we see a lot of cows. Sometimes you see some calves, but I don't, I don't, you don't, we don't see a lot of, I, I haven't seen a lot of bulls. I've seen a lot of moose, but normally they're not bulls. And these were big bulls. I mean, they had the, you know, the racks and they were covered in velvet. Um, they were really, really cool to see. Um, we, of course, were good tourists and stayed in our vehicles, um, as you should when you're around wildlife. So we did not exit the vehicle. We did have binoculars and all that good stuff. So um, it was it was great to see all that. And they enjoyed themselves. We also saw some antelope and some deer and some big elk herds. Um, so, yeah. But, I mean, I see deer in my yard every day. I see pheasants. I see turkeys. I see that stuff every day. So, to me, it wasn't... The moose is always exciting. I've always, I've always had a thing for the moose. I don't know what it is, but I like the moose. Um, and so it's always exciting for me to see moose, but elk, deer, turkeys, pheasants, meh, I see it all the time, but they were very excited. So that was good. Uh, we had some food. I made a cheesecake for them while they were here. Uh, I do make a mean cheesecake. It's a recipe out of a catalog, out of a catalog. No, out of a cookbook, uh, but it's delicious. So we did that. Oh gosh, we had a couple, like I said, a couple meetings out on the front porch um, in the evening. 
And then we did a lot of work down here. In fact, the first day we were here, they got here late Monday night. And then Tuesday uh, was our first day. And we were talking a lot, but we had a lot of work to get done. We each had a, a bunch of our own work to do. And so we decided that we had, we better put headphones in um, with music so that we would stop talking. So that was kind of a joke when, when we'd be chit chatting too much, we, we would say, Hey, do you need to put your, do we need to put our headphones in so that we can actually get some work done? So that was fun. So it's always a good time when they're here. Um, I love having them. I hope they love being here. Um, yeah, it's just a ton of fun. So anyways, we've got a lot of things done and I'm very excited to talk to you guys about our July, December holiday catalog kickoff party. So, um, it'll basically be kind of the same as we ran the annual one. If you are a member of our team, in levels one through three, you get in for free. If you are a basic or premium member of Stamp Happy Academy, you get in free. Um, otherwise, it's only $10, which of course is nothing. Um, so we are taking registrations now. We will put you in the Facebook group now, but just know that there really isn't gonna be anything going on until like the 3rd of August. And I realize that seems like it's so far away. It's only like a month. And I mean, for me, I don't know about you guys, but time, flies by. I don't know what the heck the deal is, but it was like they got here and I blinked and they were gone. A week of my life was gone. Um, and so August 3rd will be here before we know it. So yeah, you can start registering now. If you are already in Stamp Happy Academy, um, you can click on the events tab on the website and there is a link to the Facebook group. We have to manually approve every single person that wants to get into the group. So please be patient with us. Also, please know that if you have a name that you use on Stamp Happy Academy, but when you, but your Facebook name is not the same, you need to let us know that because I don't have any way of knowing, you know, if your name is, let's just throw on Michelle Cartwright, but you go, that's your maiden name, but you are married now and you go by Shelly Smith. I would not know that. So you need to let us know. Um, if you use a different name and a lot of people do some people use their husband's account some people use their maiden name Some people use a nickname some people have a Facebook account under their child's name. So I mean you got to let us know um, Celebration will start August 3rd and that's when the mini catalog the holiday catalog will go live So of course we have some time uh, if you're a demonstrator you can pre-order from those brochures um, on the 1st of July So that's like a week from now. So that's exciting is there somewhere that we need to click if we are SHA or do you just state it? Yeah, Cheryl, there's an events tab. There's a link to the Facebook group in the description of this video that you can click on. But like I said, um, everybody has to be manually approved. So it is a process. It takes us a little time to get all the people in. Um, if you don't, obviously, if you're not, if you're not watching me live, you wouldn't know that there's a link in my video. Otherwise, it's under the events tab on the Stamp Happy Academy website. So there you go. And then, like I said, um, if you aren't a member of Stamp Happy Academy, aren't a member of our team, don't want to be a member of Stamp Happy Academy, but why wouldn't you? Um, you can pay us 10 bucks and then you can get in. You'll, you'll pay, you'll go through the registration process. You'll pay your 10 bucks and then you'll get a link to the group. And then again, we will have to, um, manually admit you into the group. So that does take a little bit of time. So anyway, Yay, that's exciting. So we're gonna have kind of the same thing we did before. We're gonna have a meet and greet. We're gonna have three live presentations, one by each of us. We are going to have games and card challenges and mystery stamping and prizes. Did I say prizes? Oh, and prizes. Um, and then prizes. So there's gonna be a lot of stuff given away. There's gonna be a lot of, um, uh, of sharing. There's going to be a gallery with card samples. Um, games. Did I say games? I think I did. Uh, there's a free gift for everyone that, uh, that is in the group. Um, yeah, just tons of, t Nancy's telling, uh, telling you guys it's worth every penny, whether you're a Stamp Happy Academy member or if you just pay the 10 bucks. Um, Tara, I don't know if it's going to be bingo or if it's going to be something else. We didn't get that totally finalized, but, uh, it'll be, it'll be something. It might be bingo. I don't know. Bingo's fun. We'll see. But as you guys know, we don't disappoint. So there you go. All right, guys, I am going to flip the camera and show you a few things. Um, hello, Nina. Hello, Debbie. Debbie says mystery stamping. Absolutely, Debbie. We wouldn't have a catalog kickoff without mystery stamping. Um, and of course, some card challenges. And there's prizes that go along with all that stuff. So keep re just remember prizes. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to flip the camera and then we're going to start some stamping. And you guys are going to laugh when I tell you that... Um, okay. I'm going to have to wiggle the heck out of this thing to get this to go back where I want it to go. Ugh. 
I tell you, technology, I really need to get myself a new um, camera stand because this one is mm, it's pretty junky. I'm not going to lie. I think I got it off Amazon and I it was probably about, you know, a $4 item. And for $4, I've gotten a lot of good use out of it. So I can't complain. Okay, so let me make sure. Is this stuff kind of uh, centered? Yeah, it's close enough. Okay. Um, ooh. So here's our holiday. This is our holiday kickoff party um, information. I didn't write all the stuff down there that, we, uh, that we're going to provide you. But it's basically, if you guys have been in a catalog kickoff party with us before, you know what to expect. And you will not be disappointed. Guaranteed. Okay. Um... Then I just mailed out the bulk of my kits for my Create Where You Are class to go with the all squared away bundle. Uh, the, today, the, the mailman came and picked them up. Um, I did. I always cut some extras because I know a lot of you guys don't see my postings about it or you know come across it later on. So I do have extra kits and I want to show you what you get. You get a lot of stuff in this kit. It's $45. You get the thanks and hello uh, embossing folders. There's two in there. You get the in color jewels. You get a half a roll of the fresh freesia and the polished pink ribbon. You get a quarter pack of the DSP. You get one sheet of each color of the shimmery vellum, which is beautiful. And then you also get your pre cut cardstock kit with envelopes, and the shipping is included. You get all that for $45. So um, I still have some kits left if you want one. Link is in the description. You can add the bundle to your kit if you want to for $56. And the link to my form is also below. Um, ooh, our Sweet as a Peach class is going live tomorrow. So if you're in Stamp Happy Academy, I posted my PDF file of this last Friday. So that's already there. You can check that out. And you can actually see all the cards that are in the class. You can watch all the videos. And then you can decide if you want the kit or not. And then if you want the kit, you can absolutely get it. Um, this class should be posting in Stamp Happy Academy sometime tomorrow. I'm going to guess it's going to be towards the afternoon because the three of us still had to shoot our videos. I've gotten two done today. I've got one more to go. Um, I've got to edit them, upload them, and then type up the instructions. So that does take a little bit of time. But it'll be up tomorrow because that's what we said. It'll be up the 25th. Um, the kit for this is also $45. You get a half a pack of rhinestones, the pale papaya ribbon that has the little white edge and then the linen thread um, or you can get the whole shebang which gives you the bundle the dsp the dots and checks embossing folders um, the ribbon the thread the rhinestones the class and the cardstock kit so all the links are in the description of the video oh my totally techniques online club i don't know if i showed you guys this i think i did for the month of may i did water stamping and here was the card that everybody got um, in the mail from me for being a member of my Totally Techniques online club. And look at that. Isn't that cool? That water stamping. Yeah, I really like it. Um, and so I don't know what it's going to be for the month of June, but, um, well, I guess it's too late to join for June, but if you want to get in, you can still, you can order between July 1st and July 22nd, um, a minimum $30. Tell me that you want to be in the club and then you're in after six consecutive months. You get a $30 gift certificate from me. Okay. Uh, I still have hand pinned class kits available. Like I said, I always cut extras. I still have my Flowers of Friendship um, kits available. Oh, Stamp Happy Academy. I love Stamp Happy Academy. And our logo is just so much fun. Isn't that fun? And like we just talked about, if you guys are currently basic or premium members, you get the catalog kickoff party for free. If you're a live only member or not a member, um, it's only $10. And the links are in the description of this video. And if you want to join Stamp Happy Academy, you can get to stamphappyacademy.ning.com and choose your subscription. Okay. Ooh, I do have adhesive kits still. I always forget to ask people when they order my card kits if they want one of these, but um, I do have them. I can add them on to any card kit, or you can purchase them separately. They come in these cute little mesh bags. Um, you get a seal. You get a tear and tape adhesive. You get a package of dimensionals, a liquid glue, glue dots, an adhesive eraser. Where's my adhesive eraser? Did it fall out? Oh, I don't have one in here. Well, good thing I have this kit here. I need to add so you get an adhesive eraser. 
um, and a ruler and a ink eraser. So all that stuff is $45 and that includes your shipping. So of course the link is in the description of the video. All right. What do we have? Lastly, I still have some make and take packets available, but I don't think the link is in the description of the video. So we'll just can that for the moment. Okay. So I'm going to be starting my first project, but I'm going to do a prize first. So these are some corner, what are they called? This is called the Antiqued Corners and Slide Elements. So there's like some little buckles and then some little corners. And I am going to, uh, let's see here. I'm just scrolling through the comments and I'm going to pick somebody. So, um, I think I'm going to choose Tina Swanson. Now, of course, hopefully you're in the U.S. If you're not Tina, then I can't send you the prize, but I can send you an online class. But Tina Swanson is the winner of these little trinkets here. So, Tina, uh, please send me a Facebook message or email or something with your address, and then I will get this out to you. Let me write your name on here. Tina Swanson. All right, Tina, give me your address, and I'll get that to you. All right, here is a card that I made, you guys, for a blog hop last week, and I love it so much, I just had to share it with you guys. It uses that all squared away bundle, which is my class kit of the month, and it's got a fun fold, and I have a video for it on my blog, and just look at the colors. Oh my gosh, they're, they're adorable. So there's a video on my blog. Uh, there's also a, a link to this video farther down on this page that you're watching me on, if you want to check it out later, of course, after we're done stamping. All right. I just had to show you that because I love it so much. All righty. The first project that I'm going to do for you is going to be using the Sweet as a Peach bundle. Uh, this is the online class that will be released tomorrow. Uh, so you can still get kits for this. You can still get the bundle. And in case you guys didn't know, today's free shipping day. Hello. So if you need some supplies, you can order them from me at shoppingwithbarb.com. Now, of course, watching the replay, either on YouTube or after the fact, uh, today is June 24th. June 24th, all day is free shipping. If you're watching it any other day, my apologies, shipping is no longer free. But if you're with me right now, I can see a lot of you guys. If you need to order anything, then do it. Okay. So we're going to make a card with the peach bundle and we are also going to use these basic border dies. These are really fun and these are kind of like a standalone product in the back of the catalog. There's no stamp set that goes with this set of dies. There are six dies in the set and let me show you what they do. So we have what I like to kind of call an envelope point die. So you can see, and it also does the little dots, which is really fun. Okay. And then we have uh, just kind of a rounded top, which is fun. Ooh, then we've got this fun little zigzag, which is cute. I think this would be really cute on some kids' cards or maybe like Halloween or something like that. Super fun. I have no idea what this is, um, but it's cool. Let's just say, let's just say that because I don't know. I need to do a little research and figure out how to use that. Then we have this little guy here that is a lot of fun. And finally, we have the clouds. So you can do all different shapes. You know, you can move this around to get a bunch of different cloud formations. But the borders dies are really fun. And so I thought we would kind of start with them on a piece of white cardstock, basic white cardstock. And so that's what I did. So here's my basic white. I cut this. Oh, let me tell you what I cut it to. Ooh, Chris says she's ordering. And yes, Chris is ordering. I got to place Chris's order after I'm done here. So thank you, Chris. Um, I cut this white layer to three and a half by five and a half. And then I put my little envelope point die on there, ran it through my stamp and cut and emboss. And this is what I get. Then I also took a piece of the designer series paper. This is the pattern. And this is two and a quarter by five and a half. And we're going to put those onto a uh, four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of pale papaya cardstock. So I'm gonna add the DSP first. So let's get my seal started here. 
add that with the DSP. You are so welcome, Nancy. I try to do that with all my die sets, but I have to confess, I just do not do that. Um, I don't get it done. I need an assistant. That's what I need. That's kind of what we discussed while they were here is I need an assistant. They both have assistants. I just never felt like I needed one, but I might. And so that's something I need to figure out for myself, how I can uh, incorporate an assistant into my business and, you know, see if anyone wants to do it. Who knows? All right. So then I'm going to take this and we are going to add that to the front of the card. So let me add a little adhesive here. Ooh, you guys, uh, you know, my daughter is down in, oh, my eye, Debbie is amazing. I got my new glasses. I can see, ah, uh, the world is just, it's an amazing, it's an amazing place to be. I can see really well. I don't have my glasses on right now, but <laughs> I kind of got used to not wearing them, honestly. I mean, it was three years that they were broken and I really only wore them, you know, if, if I had to drive somewhere or watch TV. So I'm used to not being able to see while I'm down here. And so I don't have them on right now, but my vision isn't too bad from like where my head is to the table, which is only about, I don't know, 15 inches. So I can see that. I can see that. That's not too hard for me to see. Okay. Um, what do we need? We have a sentiment. We have some peaches. We have the leaves. We have our ink. More sentiments. Oh, I was going to tell you guys, uh, you know, my daughter lives um, in her college town in Laramie, Wyoming, and she got a job at Perkins. Uh, for those of you that don't know, it's like a family restaurant and she's a waitress. And so she's been very excited. She started work last Tuesday. She worked every single day through last night. And I think she's got like $800 in tips. So she's pretty excited about that. So then my son, who's going to be a senior in high school this coming fall, uh, he left today to go down to visit her. Her birthday is Saturday. So he went to visit her and hang out with her over the weekend for her birthday. So I'm not really sure what kind of shenanigans they're going to be up to. But, you know, I'll never know, right? <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Uh, he got down there fine. Lots of road construction. But, you know, is to be expected this time of year. So, okay. So I've got the leaf image here. And I'm going to ink this up in the old olive. I think that's old olive, yeah. And I'm going to stamp it right here on, man, that looks like I kind of missed maybe, about like so. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to bring in my uh, peaches and I'm going to start ugh, by inking them up in pale papaya. So we've got that. And then I'm going to bring in my Calypso Coral and a sponge dauber. And I need a scrap of white. Hmm. Well, that this should work. Okay, so I'm going to dip my dauber into the uh, blah, 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 blah. Calypso Coral. I know. And so my husband's at work. And so, yeah, I have a feeling I'm going to get a bit of work done here. Um, over these next few days because my husband still has to work a couple more days and then my kid's gone so I won't have to make food for anybody. It's awesome. <sighs> I gave a little huff to that. We'll stamp it and then you get that really cool uh, multi-tone effect which I think is really neat and I love doing that with these peaches. I don't think I could stamp the peaches honestly without um, using two tones minimum because it's just so cool. Okay, so then I would take those over to my stamp and cut and emboss machine, and I would cut those out. Let me dump them out of my little bag here because I've already done that. Oh, they're hard to get out. And then here they are. So and you can tell. I mean, it, they'll never be the same. You know, even looking at them, they're not exactly the same. So it's kind of a fun thing to do, um, never knowing exactly what you're going to get. So we're going to bring the card back in, and I am going to do. A little bit of stamping so we are gonna say you're as sweet as a peach so I'm gonna stamp the as a peach right here 
there we go and then this says your as so we'll ink that up gently so i don't uh, make a gigantic mess and we'll try to get this right above the sweet as a peach Ooh, pretty good and then on the inside i'm going to stamp happy birthday okay Ooh, i got a bunch of ink on that let's hope that it does not get on my card yay okay so then i'm going to add my little peaches uh, and i'm going to do that with some dimensionals so we will get three dimensionals off the sheet here and we will flip those over and add the dimensional and then we'll get those onto the leaves all right so this little one I'm going to put that one up here. And this one, I think, will go about like that. And then this little guy, we're going to stick right there. You know, I'm kind of wondering if I should have used Pear Pizzazz instead of Olive. And maybe I should have. Too late. I already did it. Can't cry over spilt milk or stamp in wrong colors. You just got to go with it. So we're going to go with it. Okay, so... As I was sitting here looking at, I didn't have it put together, but I was—I kind of knew what I was going to do. I thought to myself, you know, some glittery flowers would be really cool. So I grabbed my rainbow glimmer paper. And now you'll see, I have a little package full of scraps. And some of these you might think, oh my gosh, why did you even save that? Well, because these little flowers are a die and I could cut these out of any of these little scraps. There's plenty of scrap here for that. So I save all these. Even this, I could get a flower. Right there, I could cut a flower if I wanted to. So I'm kind of a scrap saver sometimes. Things like this I do keep scraps of because I can do things like this. So I found this circle in the scraps and look at that. Those colors are like perfect on this card. How cool is that? I just have to figure out where I want to put them. I have no idea. I'm just kind of thinking, you know, maybe just here right by the peaches. Kathleen says she just got home from a date afternoon with her hubby. How fun is that? And I'm going to use, oh, I need to find a liquid glue. That works. So I'm going to use my liquid glue and I'm going to put a little dab of glue where I want each of these little flowers and that's going to add some fun bling to the card for me. Okay. Ooh, somebody just said they shared my video. Yay. Thank you. I appreciate that very much. You guys, that really helps the reach of my lives. When you guys are sharing it, it really helps a lot. Okay. So we have the fun, and look at those, aren't those cute? Those little sparkly things, they're just adorable. So yay, so save your scraps of this paper because you never know what you're going to be able to use um, them for. And then save your big pieces for like, you know, background peaches and peaches, background pieces and things like that. Okay, so then I want to take a little snippet of this ribbon. So just a tiny little snippet, about like so. And I need some linen thread. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tie a knot around this piece of ribbon. Because sometimes this kind of ribbon, it's kind of thick. And so sometimes it can be a little bit too thick to like tie a bow or even a knot on a project. It's sometimes it's just, this kind of ribbon can just be too thick. So sometimes you need to find alternate ways to use it because it's fun ribbon. I love the white edges on it and I love the woven uh, texture that it has, but um, it can be a little bit thick. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tie a knot right in the center of this ribbon with some linen thread. There we go. And then I'm gonna bring out my, my fancy scissors these are like your mom's fabric scissors. You know what I'm saying? I think we all had fabric scissors in our homes. 
Uh, my mother used to sew our clothing. Uh, lucky us. <laughs> I look back at some of the pictures and some of the uh, patterns that we, that we wore as children in the 1970s. And they were interesting to say the least. <laughs> so anyways, I always get a kick out of uh, ribbon scissors because they're just like my mother's fabric scissors. And if you even looked at them, whew, you were in trouble. Okay, so I just tied that and then I'm just going to add it right there at the top of the little stem piece. So that's fun. So that's an easy way to use that kind of ribbon. And then I think the last thing I want to do, and I, I, maybe I will, maybe I won't. You know how I am, you guys. Sometimes I don't do something and then I think, well, maybe we should. I've got these champagne rhinestones that are included in the kit for the peach class. But I don't know if that's going to be like too much bling. No, it's not. It's perfect. So I'm going to put a little champagne rhinestone in the center of each of these uh, little flowers. Yes, so cute. Oh my gosh. So now you guys will have another idea for the peach class. So there it is. We've got our fun gems on top of our glimmer paper that coordinates. We've got our little peaches, our fun border piece there. Yeah. Uh, Nancy said, if you go through the center of the twine hole twice before you pull, you get a little tighter hold in the ribbon. Um, Nancy, I don't know what that, I don't know what that means. Sometimes I need a, a visual, a, like a video. So maybe I'll have to check it out later. Okay. And then not a ribbon person. Da, 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 da. Okay. So there it is. Card number one. Let me bring in my chamois because I need to clean some of these off. So I'm going to let those, that card sit there for a second. You guys can admire it. I was actually really happy with how it turned out. And I have to show you, I was actually inspired by a card that I got in a swap. And here it is. And I happened to be looking through my cards this morning. And I saw that layout and I thought, oh my gosh, I could do that. And so I do that a lot. I copy layouts because, you know, why wouldn't you? All right. So let me put my ink pads back since my ink pad holder is right here in front of me and I can see everything. Still super excited about my uh, new setup that I think I showed you guys in a previous video. Um, I'm really excited about that still. So it's treating me very well. Oh, heavenly days. Sorry about that. Flinging you guys all over the place here. Okay. Let me <clears throat> clean up. You know how I am. Dina had to laugh. She says, oh my gosh, I see you live and I laugh every time you clean up. She goes, because I don't clean up at all. And of course she doesn't. That's just not her thing. But I can't work in a mess. So I have to clean it up. Okay. Let's put these aside and we will get into project number two. But before we do that, I have another thing to give away. This is a roll of ribbon. I'm pretty sure it came in a two pack. Um, perhaps I used up the other color. I think it might've been Poppy Parade. This is old olive and it's got a really kind of fun metallic border on it. Um, so let's just scroll through and give that away. Um, da -da -da. Who is watching that would be able to use some ribbon. Ooh, how about Evelyn McMahon? Evelyn, I think I might have your address, but just for the sake of easiness for me, if you could Facebook message it to me or whatever, text it, whatever, um, and then I will get this ribbon in the mail to you. So congratulations to Evelyn. And here we go with our next card. So we're going to be using uh, the All Squared Away Bundle which of course is the one that is for my class this month. And it's really cute. Oh, a lot of you are saying that your mom sold a lot of your clothes too. And I figured probably, I mean, it's the era that we lived in, you know, that that's just what they did is they made clothing. Um, but I just have to chuckle sometimes when I look back and um, see those clothes. It just makes me laugh. Oh yes. Chris is correct. This was from the color and contour bundle. The, um, the image here and then this is the hand penned designer series paper exact same dye but this layer of white was run through the mm, tasteful textures folder maybe that's what it's called I'm not sure but anyway yes that's from color and contour 
Oh my gosh, Nancy's on here. Nancy, every time you say you're from Burley, Idaho, I just get a little a little soft spot in my heart for that place. My husband's grandparents lived there, and I have been to Burley, Idaho, so yay. Okay, we're going to use the floral squares dies. We're not going to use the stamp set. I um, mean, honestly, I mean, no offense to the all squared away stamp set, but I think the dies could be, you could buy these and use these by themselves without this without the things but these little things are pretty cute behind the windows like if you just cut this out and then you stamp that it is really cute so it does go together really well but you could certainly use these alone which i'm going to do today um okay so we're going to use the sunny sentiments stamp set i'm going to use this one and this one and yeah okay so let's see what die did i use i picked that one and that one for the card today i can't remember if i did the little tiny one or not I don't think I did because I don't see any of the colors that I'm using <laughs> stuck in the die okay paper here we go so I am going to be using the polished pink which I love it's like a really good color of pink if any of you remember positively pink from many many years ago it kind of reminds me of that I'm sure it's not the same shade I don't have any of that paper anymore but it kind of reminds me of that and then a little layer of white for the inside we have a three and a half by four and three quarter inch piece of basic white and then a three and uh, about five eighths actually I think I need to check this it's supposed to be three and five eighths by four and seven eighths and now that I say that I don't think I cut it right Nope, I sure didn't. And then I'm going to have to use my other trimmer on this. So hold on. Okay. That should work now. I just want a little bit of the Daffodil Delight to kind of show through. So that's good. Okay. And then I have a two and a half by six inch piece of the... What is this? Daffodil Delight Designer Series Paper from the Brights Stack. Ooh, Cynthia says she's in Blackfoot. My husband has other relatives in Blackfoot, Cynthia. So I've been there also. So here are the Brights papers. Just like they say, they are very bright, very fun. And I've said this a hundred times. I'll probably say it a hundred more. These patterns are my favorite patterns in these stacks in a few years. I love these patterns. I cannot get enough of them. Okay, I also have a little strip of pear pizzazz that I'm going to put on this layer of white. Obviously, it's too long, but I will cut that off. And then I have a two by two square of daffodil. And then I have die cut the image out of both pear pizzazz and white. And I also cut the little flower out of the shimmer vellum, the polished pink shimmer vellum and white because I find oh actually I didn't need to do that I was thinking I was putting this on green but I'm not I'm putting it on white I find that if you're going to put this these little things on anything but white they need to have a white backing like I'll show you the difference okay so like here is this pink flower on this piece of pear pizzazz with a white layer under it here it is without the white layer it still looks okay, but it really, really pops, and the pink really shows through really nicely if you actually put it on a white. So, little tri 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 bleh, trick for you. Okay, so I'm going to cut this leafy part out of this uh, die cut. So I'm just going to cut it straight along the edge here, as close to the edge as I can get. I don't care that the, um, well, I'll show you when I'm done what I don't care about. Um, I don't care that. Ugh. See how these edges, normally you would think you would trim those little weird things off, but you don't need to. When you stick it on here, it, it, it looks like it's supposed to be like that. So anyway, I'm going to add it with some liquid glue. So we'll get some liquid glue coming out here. And you know what I have found with this shimmer vellum, you guys, which makes me super happy. I haven't noticed it showing through when I put it on with glue. Like most vellum, like clear vellum or that frosted vellum, the normal vellum, you can see glue through it. 
I have not noticed that with using this shimmer vellum. And I did, you know, quite a few things with it because it's included in my class, so I did use it. Um, but I haven't noticed the glue showing through, so that makes me pretty happy. Okay, and then we have our pretty little flower there. And then I'm going to add this to this Daffodil Delight. So isn't that fun? And then the little hole in the center of the flower is yellow, which is perfect. All right, so let's get some glue on here. Just a little bit. And when I'm putting glue on, um, I just use a very, very skinny bead of glue. You guys might not even be able to see my glue. It's so thin. You do not need much liquid glue when you're gluing stuff down. Uh, so just keep that in mind because a lot of people will like to really squeeze out a ton. And then when you put your projects together, glue squishes out all over and makes a gigantic mess. How do I know this? Because I used to be a heavy-handed gluer. I've gone to rehab and now I don't anymore. No, I'm just kidding, that's not true. Okay, so there we have that little fun thing. I'm gonna, since I have this liquid glue sitting here, I am gonna add a thin bead of that to this edge of this layer of white and I'm gonna add my designer series paper. Bump that right to the edge. And then of course it's too long, but too long is much better than too short because you can always cut it off. Okay, so this uh, seal, where did I put it? Did I, no, I, I thought maybe I stuck it in my other bucket. I didn't. So we are going to add this to the layer of daffodil. And again, there's just gonna be a tiny little skinny border peeking out, but I just needed something between the layers when I put it onto the pink layer. All right, and then we'll go ahead and use some dimensionals on this piece. And I'm gonna use five. I'm gonna put one in the middle. I like, um, or I don't like my layers to sag. So that's why I do that. And I see some more of you guys joining me tonight. Hello, Kelly, and hello, Lisa. Welcome, ladies. All right, so let me get this. Try to get it centered. I think, that, is that a dimensional backing? Yes. What the heck? Get out of there. Okay. All right. So we have our fun little focal point here. And then I need my sentiment. I pulled them out. Oh, here we go. So that says, uh, what does it say? A happy hello to you. Let me ink that up. And I'm going to stamp that right down here at the bottom-ish. Hopefully it's straight. Please, 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 please. I think that's okay. I think that's pretty straight. It's straight enough for me. I'm, I'm happy with that. Okay. Um, and I'm going to add this with some dimensionals, I think. I'm going to go three, I think. One, two, three. Okay. If you guys are just joining me, this is my uh, class for the month of June. And I do have not this particular card. This is not included in the class, but here's another idea for you. Um, and I also made this card on a video here recently. So aren't those fun? Okay. So then we're going to open this up and we're going to stamp our other sentiment that says something in cursive that I can't read upside down at the moment. But we're going to stamp it on the inside here and then we'll know what it says. And I haven't tested this, so I'm hoping it's straight. Uh, yay, it is. Okay. So I'm going to uh, add my inside layer here. There we go. And also, if you've just joined me, I have been giving away random prizes before I've created some of these cards. So I've already given away two and I've got one more to give away. Um, at some point. Ooh, now I pulled out these different things. I don't know if I'm going to use any of them, all of them. I don't know. I might not use any. We'll see. But I also pulled out the snail mail twine because, you guys, snail mail twine is on sale for half price. You can get both of these rolls, the white and the blushing bride, for $3.50. 
which is crazy. So I am going to use this and I'm going to tie myself, I think, a double, a double bow. We'll see how it works out. Sometimes they work out fine. Sometimes they work out terrible. Okay, so I've got two pieces of twine. I, I don't know how long they are, just whatever you want to do. And I'm going to tie a little bow here. Ooh, I think it might work. And then you just manipulate the loops like so. Yes, Nancy says two more ideas to go with her tutorial that she got from Stamp Happy Academy. Absolutely, Nancy. Yes, I think that's going to be good. I'm going to make this just a tiny bit smaller. There we go. And let me trim off the ends. Yay. Okay. And then we're going to use a glue dot. Ooh, I have to tell you guys a little trick. Uh, some of you may know that uh, the new glue dots are kind of rolled the wrong way. If any of you have gotten a new package of glue dots lately, the glue dots are on the like opposite side of the paper than they normally were. But I didn't like that, so I decided to do something about it, and I re-rolled mine. So what I did was, when I just finally ran out of my old roll of glue dots, the ones that were on the right side. So I kept the little thing. And I took this roll, well, this has already been done, but I took my new roll and I taped it to my old cardboard and I wrapped it the opposite way all the way to the end. And now look at that. All my glue dots are on the right side again. So there you go. So if you happen to have a cardboard piece um, that you haven't thrown away yet, get it out of the trash or save it if you're almost done and then just re-roll the whole thing. Yep. It's just... It, I can't use them that way. I'm just, I'm old and I'm set in my ways and I can't do that. So there you go. Okay. And you know what? I don't think I'm going to put anything on here. I think it's cute just the way it is. I don't think I need any gems. I don't think I need anything but what's on here. So we're going to just leave it. So there you go. Oh, I do have to do my envelope. So let me bring my liquid glue back in here. And again, very, very skinny beads of glue. It looks like I'm putting a ton on, but there's not much really because the beads are so skinny. And then I will decide which side of the paper I want. I'm going to go with this side, I think. And put that right up against the edge. And again, this piece is two and a half by six. Probably doesn't need to be quite that long, but I mean, honestly, what are you going to have a two and a half by five and three quarters? And then what are you going to do with the quarter inch strip of paper you're going to throw it in the trash so you might as well just cut it to six all right and then we will just trim around the envelope and sometimes my trimming skills are terrible when I do this but you know if I cut off some of the envelope who's gonna know only me well and you guys now he <laughs> okay there we go and so now we have a super cute card oh my gosh when I did this card today because I never know what I'm going to make for you guys. I wake up on Thursdays and I always say to myself, oh my gosh, it's Facebook Live Day. What am I going to make? Because I never know what I'm going to make. The Hello Stamp Debbie is from the Sunny Sentiments. They're both. Both of my sentiments come from this. A really cute, a really cute set. I never know what I'm going to make. So all day long, I sit around here and I go, oh, what am I going to make while I'm doing other work? And then things just start to come to me. And yeah, and now my last card, you guys, you're going to kind of laugh because I kind of threw some pieces into my bucket at like 425. So we'll see what I can come up with for those pieces. Okay, I need to clean up my area. Can't stand stamping in a mess. So I'm going to clean it up a little bit. And I know some of you can understand. Some of you probably don't even care and say, gosh, why do you waste time cleaning up your mess? All right, because I have to or I'll drive myself crazy. That's why. Okay, let me get my last bucket. Here we go. Ooh, and our last prize. All right, so this is, these are called Butterfly Elements. They were from Celebration oh, two years ago, three years ago. I don't, I can't even remember sometimes. The time just all meshes together when, when I'm old and I, I just can't, I can't remember. Does it say on here what the year was? I don't think they put years on here. No. Anyway, so someone's going to win this. So 
Let me do a scroll here. Who is going to win this? Um, I am seeing people. I'm going to go Nancy Clark. Nancy, your name just popped up, and so you are the winner. And I do have Nancy's address, so I will get this out to Nancy. And there you go. All right. Yeah, <laughs> Dina's funny. She can. She cannot work if it's clean. She literally can't. She needs stuff to be around to be inspired, I think. So, yeah, it's kind of funny. All right, so my next card, like I said, I didn't know what it was going to do. I kind of threw some pieces together at 25 or 20 after 4, and we're going to see what we can come up with. So I just got this in. This is the Art in Bloom bundle, and it is a stamp set, a set of dies, and a folder. So when you order the dies, you can order the dies and the folder separately. You can order the stamp set separately, but if you order it as a bundle, you get 10% off. So, of course, that's what I did. And... So let's just kind of see what we're going to do with it here. <laughs> Vicki says her desk would scare me. <laughs> oh, I love it. We're all so different, but we have a common thing here. We love stamping. Okay. So the first thing I did was I took a piece of, let me grab another piece so I can show you exactly what I did. I decided, I kind of looked at my color coach. Okay. Okay. And I looked for greens and I thought, okay, what green can I use? What can I do? And I looked at Mary Merlot and I don't think it's on here, but just looking at it reminded me that it's not. That reminded me that Mary Merlot looks really pretty with Blushing Bride and Mossy Meadow. So I used my color coach only to jog my memory about something that I already remember, that I already knew. So I didn't actually really use it, but it helped me remember this color combination. So the first thing I did was uh, mount the stamps onto a large block. Uh, where's my Mary Merlot? And then I inked them up and stamped them on a piece of Blushing Bride. Okay, so we'll just do that. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to put this way away from me so I don't get my any ink on myself because I'm kind of messy. I think, I, nope, I didn't. Okay, so then what you want to do is you'll want to, well, you don't have to do this. You can do a couple different things with this. So you can take the die. There's a die that comes in the set. And you can simply take it over to your stamp and cut and emboss machine and cut it out just like you would. No problem. But this folder is so cool in that you can take your die and you can place it on your folder. So I have it laying on my folder and it just kind of clicks into place there, okay? And this is the blade side up. So my cutting surface of my die is now face up and this is locked in around these um, this flower image that's on this folder. So then, holding the die in place, you're going to, and maybe this is the wrong way to do it, but this is the way I figured out. I haven't watched any other videos. I have no other ideas. This is what I came up with myself. Um, I do not, Chris. I have all my folders in one place. I have all my dies in one place. I have all my stamp sets in one place. How do I remember what goes together? Who knows? Some things, I can't remember what I had for dinner two nights ago, but I can remember that all this goes together. Tell me why that works. I don't know. So anyway, I have then flipped it over. The die is in the folder and I am now looking at the stamped image to line that up with the folder. Okay. Then you're going to close the folder. You're going to run it through your stamp and cut and emboss machine with your base plate, which is plate number one, the folder and plate number four that comes with the machine. So you're going to run that through and this is what you get. So flipping cool. I just I just love this. So you get these three flowers that are now stamped, die cut, and look at that. They're all textured. Cool, huh? Nancy Clark, you are the winner. She said she had to let her dog out. <laughs> so Nancy, you are the winner, and I will be sending you the prize. So look at that. Isn't that cool? So I have these three flowers that have texture, and they have ink, and they're die cut all at once with this folder. And you would think, gosh, does the die cut the folder? 
apparently it doesn't because I don't have any marks on my folder. So that's pretty cool. Then the set also has some other fun little pieces, the die set anyway. So we have uh, two of these little duo leaves and there are two of, um, no, there's a solid and a detailed stamp. I just did some detailed stamping here. Then there are these fun little uh, leaves and I stamped and die cut those. There's this little trio of flowers, kind of some fun odd shapes. There's this fun little ticket piece. How fun is that? That's like a little label. Then there's a long skinny banner. I didn't cut that out. Um, and then there's this little duo leaf that cuts out leaves with some really whimsical detail. Aren't those cute? So I die cut some stuff. I stamped and die cut some stuff and I'm just going to throw it together and we're going to see what happens. I have no idea how this is going to work. It might be here. It might be horrible. Who knows? Okay. So I kind of, you know, you kind of have a, a vision in your mind of what you might want to make. Sometimes it comes out. Sometimes it's horrible. Um, we're going to see. I also uh, got myself a circle. So I have a white circle here also. I did run this through the, the folder without the dies. So I didn't cut the flowers out. I just ran this piece through the folder and you can see the tremendous detail that the folder does give, which is really cool. And okay, so I don't even have a card base. I'm kind of thinking maybe Mary Merlot. Let's just check it out and see. I happen to have a Mary Merlot card base in my file. So we'll start with that. I don't normally work from scratch, you guys. That's not normally how I roll. So hmm, we'll see. And in my brain, I kind of thought, okay, we could stick that circle down just kind of as a starting point, you know, for the flowers, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's not going to work. Maybe we're going to have to get rid of it. But I kind of thought maybe we could have the white circle there and we could put the flowers on it. Uh, maybe we could throw some of these leaf images underneath some of these things. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Whoops, come out. Come out of there. Okay. Maybe we could even stick. We could even do that. I don't know. That looks kind of, well, maybe that looks kind of stupid. Um, I didn't know. I didn't know. Those, could they go in the middle? Mm, no, I don't believe that they can. At least not with this particular card. So, okay, that I don't like. That's, we're not, we're not doing that. Maybe I could just do one. Maybe I could put one flower on here. I could tuck some leaves under, Maybe. Maybe we could do that. Heck, maybe we could tuck this fun leaf under there. I don't know. Like I said, I didn't really have a plan. I don't really have a plan. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not feeling that. How about, how about these two leaves together? Maybe, maybe, maybe that. This is probably just what you guys signed up for. Oh, let's try to see if Barb can come up with a card. Okay, nope. I don't like that either. Maybe I don't like the circle. Maybe I need to get rid of that. Cheryl says, are you using your embossing sheet? Hmm. Cheryl, I don't know what that is. I don't know what you mean. I mean, it's probably because I'm just old and can't remember. And the minute you explain it to me, I'm going to go, oh, of course. But I don't know what you mean. Maybe we could just do that. Now, this is kind of boring. Hmm. Could we put all of the flowers on there? And tuck some leaves? No, that's going to be... No, no, no. I don't like that either. Ooh, maybe let's bring the white circle back. Maybe we could do that. <laughs> okay. Maybe that. And then you know what? I have a tiny, tiny bit of this... Um, blushing bride ribbon left like literally this much this is all I have and it's retiring so um, it's only available through the end of the month while supplies last um, 
your embossing sheet the one oh this no i wasn't really going to i don't know does that i don't know if it really goes with the mary merlot but hmm i don't hate that maybe i need to change my card base to mossy meadow That's too big. Hold on. I'm going to cut one. Okay. Maybe we could do this. If we have a mossy meadow card base and not that. Are we feeling this a little bit better? I kind of think I'm feeling it better. I don't know if the blushing bride's going to work. I kind of feel like this has to be on the same color. The same color of layer we can try it we can absolutely give it a shot but I'm already thinking in my brain that I don't like it nope oh no I, I'm just not feeling that at all sorry I'm sorry I have to do this but maybe now I can put one of these in the middle just to jazz that up just a tiny bit and then this is what I was kind of thinking I could do. You know how you do the zigzag thing? I thought maybe I could do the zigzag thing. But I might have to twist it. Ooh, I might not even have enough. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cheat. I'm going to do this. Because I only need that to go so far. Sometimes you just have to cheat. There is just no other way around it. Okay, so so this is what I have on the back so far, because I literally don't have any more ribbon than that. That's it. That's all I have. Okay, so then that would come out there, and this would go this way. So we can kind of cheat and still get the same effect, but we don't have enough ribbon, so we have to cheat the system a tiny bit. And of course, this is difficult. It's way easier if you just use, you know, the proper amount of ribbon. But since we don't have the proper amount of ribbon, we have to do something else. Ugh, this is difficult. I honestly can't believe I don't have any more ribbon than this. I normally do not run out of ribbons. I just don't. Okay. So we need to trim this a tiny bit. There's a tiny little thing hanging off there. Okay. I kind of think this might work, you guys. Okay, let's see. Spritz the embossed layer with Wink of Stella. Ooh, I could do that. Put the flowers right over the embossed sheet. Mary Merlot circle. No, I think I'm going to go with the white. Okay, you guys are having some fantastic um, suggestions. But I'm kind of starting to feel this, what I got going, <clears throat> what I got going on here. Maybe we might need to change the rotation of this just a tiny bit. Okay. I think this might work. It's not like my best work ever, but I think that it will work. I think that's okay. It's not horrible. But if I, mm, I don't really want to do that either. That seems like that's too much for this particular card. I kind of want to keep everything in the corner. I'm liking this corner action that I got going on here. Okay, I need to put this on the circle and I'm going to use some dimensionals to do that. Okay. And again, so we're going to stick that about like so. And then I may need to trim some of these uh, leaves off. We'll add a little glue. A little bit. Maybe I need to push that over just a slight amount. This one, I think I'm going to cut off even a little more. Okay. And I'm going to tuck that in. And then I think that I might do this in the middle. Okay. 
we're going to put this on. So we're going to add the liquid glue again. Whenever I have something that I have embossed, I always use liquid glue. Uh, and this one I am putting more on than I normally would. But this is a really, really embossed piece. It's very, very uh, deep and detailed. It's really, really quite pretty. Okay. Here we go. Kathy says she liked the Merlot card base with the embossed layer. Oh, I am so sorry. I just, I wasn't feeling it. And I got to be feeling it if it's my work. You know what I'm saying? But this is not working for me either. Oh, maybe I need another leaf. Maybe I need to try another little leaf piece. That's too big. And I don't think I'll like it right there. That's not, that's not it. You know, we're just going to go with it. It is what it is. Sometimes things just... You know, that's just what they have to be. All right. I think what I might do is there's a long sentiment in here. Maybe I could mimic the um, the dye and use this skinny strip of paper. Because I do have this little, because I don't have my machine next to me here. But there is a long sentiment in here. Oh, let me get a block. Ugh. I think that should work. And we're going to stamp it in Merlot. And ink that up. Try to stamp it on our little sheet here. Hmm, is that going to be in the middle? Only one way to find out. But I have a million of these little strips because... So what happens when you cut your cardstock? Um... Yeah, that's probably all right. Okay, so then I'm going to snip off. Oh, are these my crappy scissors? Yes. Where's my good ones? I don't know. I'll have to get a brand new pair out. Okay, and I'm just going to flag this end. Now, in another world, I could use the die that's in the set to do this. But I don't feel like going to get my machine and bring it over here. Schlep it over here, as they say. And so I'm not going to. I'm going to do this. Okay, so let's see. This might be too long. I don't know. We might have to trim it down a little bit more. But I wonder if we could just do something like that. If we made it a little smaller. <clears throat> Boy, I've got something in my throat. What the heck? If we make it just a tiny bit shorter. Okay, I haven't been looking at the comments. What are you guys saying? Uh, sometimes you have to sleep on it. Boy, that's the truth. I'll probably wake up tomorrow and go, oh my gosh, I have a fantastic idea for this card. But this is literally like the first time I've even looked at this set. I, I haven't even looked at it. Ooh, I don't know. Over? No, I don't think it can go anywhere else. It has to go like down here. And that might be too much. We might have to just stick that on the inside um, and call it good. No, I don't like that either. I kind of want to stick it on the front. But I don't really know how to do that. That I may have to sleep on. What about at an angle above the flower? Mm, I don't know. To me, that things have to be symmetrical because I'm very anal, and that's not symmetrical. So in my brain, that will not work. And I don't think I can do it across the center like this. Uh, the bottom, hmm, I'm not totally feeling that either. Ooh. What if we, what if we rotated this? All right, hold on. I have a tiny plan. It, I don't know. It might not work. We'll see if we can actually get these dimensionals off without leaving a mark on the card. But if we can, we might have a new plan here. Where's my other one? Right here. This is how my brain works, you guys, sometimes. We might be able to change the orientation of the card and then do something like this. How's that? Huh? What do you guys think? I think I'm doing it. That's what I think. I think I'm going to add a dimensional to the end of this banner strip. And I'm going to put some new dimensionals on here just because I screwed up where they were and cut them all off. Okay. 
hopefully you guys are um, on board with my new plan. Okay. Yay, it looks like you are. Okay, so we will set that like so. And I'll add a little glue to the end of this banner. And that way we don't really have to cover up the flower. But, ooh, yay, yay! I do like it, okay. So there, that's not a terrible fail by any means. Now, I do have some fun things here to choose from. I kind of thought these would work. It's almost like they're rich razzleberry, but I think they'll work for the Merlot. So let's try, where is my take your pick tool? In all this mess, oh, it's right where it belongs. Who would have thought? Let's try and pick up a few of these and put them on the card also. Pretty, pretty. Ooh, I just love these little things and I'm so glad that Stampin' Up! carried them over because it's like you look at them and you think, oh, that's only, you know, balmy blue. But yet when you put it next to like Bermuda Bay, it looks really good. And like these are like rich razzleberry, but they look really good with the Mary Merlot. So if you have them, get them out and kind of see what they'll go with because you might be surprised. Okay, you guys. Yay, we did it. We took a bunch of stuff and we turned it into a cute card. That makes me happy. Okay. Let's get everything out of the way so we can bring in our cards. And of course, give my video a thumbs up if you would. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel down here. I would love it. Um, congratulations to all of our prize winners. We have Evelyn McMahon, Nancy Clark, and Tina Swanson. I will be getting your prizes out to you girls. Remember, Tina, I do need your address. And Evelyn, if you could send me yours, that'd be awesome. It'd just be easier for me. And so here are the cards that we made today. So we've got the Sweet as a Peach bundle. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you so much for all the hearts. I love it. Um, our little, little All Squared Away, our Art in Bloom card. Oh, I'm just really happy with that now. Really, really happy with that. All right. Thank you guys so much. I am super excited that I was back and you got to watch and I hope everybody had a fantastic time. Have a great week. Remember tonight only, June 24th, there's free shipping on all orders over $50 through like 11.50 p.m. Mountain Time. So convert that if you're in Eastern, Central, or Pacific. And yeah, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.